I did something a little bit different. You guys might notice I dyed my hair this morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali and I wanted to vlog today because this big update, not that big, but I feel like it's pretty drastic for me. Like last time I dyed it, which I think was in February, I got just um, the ends colored and more like a balayage on the ends. But this time I asked for some baby highlights up here. Is that what she called them? I don't even know. But I think it's so cute. It's very drastic, even though like it probably isn't really showing up on camera that much. But I thought, you know, might as well. I went to Salon Mystique here in Austin and I'm gonna post a before and after picture right here just so you guys can see you know the difference it is friday and it's almost 6 p.m and i wanted to start this vlog off because this weekend is my first free weekend in forever i have been just like working a lot on the weekends so this weekend i'm going to take full advantage hang out with my friends do some fun stuff around the city so i for sure wanted to vlog it for you guys i do have a few quick unboxings that i wanted to start this vlog off with so let's get started on that the first package I want to show y'all is from Set Active. I am so obsessed with their set, so I just had to order some more because they had some new colors out that I wanted to get. I have the color Stone and Black, but I definitely wanted to get more leggings because I'm in love with their leggings. They suck me in so well and make me feel so skinny and confident. So I got these leggings. They are literally all the same style but I just got this color. I guess you can't really see it that well on camera, um, but it is in the color, I wanna say oat. Is it oat? It's the color oat milk. So it's this just light taupe kind of thing. So that is such a cute color. I feel like that's gonna look really good against my skin. Then I got this color, which is the color sand. And I feel like it's kind of close to stone, but stone was a little bit more gray and I don't think I liked this color stone. So this is a little bit more warmer. Um, and same thing, same style of leggings. The top of it just, I'm telling y'all, it like sucks you in so well. I love them. Then I got some bras and I really like this style of bras. I wanna say it's their, um, let me just read it so I don't get it wrong. This is called the ribbed V and this is in the color sand as well. So I'm going to wear that with my sand leggings. And then, ooh, this bra is like something I've been waiting for for so long because I think it was sold out. But this is the one shoulder sports bra in black. And actually, I think the color is um, onyx. It's so cute. I'm so excited to wear this. Like I've been waiting for this to get restocked um, just because I feel like black is um, something I wear all the time. So then, oh, wait, ooh, I got the same one shoulder bra in the oat milk color. So I'm really hoping that these um, one shoulder bras look good and are flattering because I got two now <laughs> and I haven't tried those out, but I do really like the ribbed V. I've tried that out and it's probably my go-to bra from Set Active. I'm actually planning on going on a hike tomorrow. Well, if you call it a hike, I think we're gonna go to Mount Bonnell and I've heard that it's like a 15 minute walk. So I don't know if you count that as a hike, but I might wear one of these depending on how I feel in the morning, you know, if I'm feeling confident enough. Next package is also really exciting. Okie doke, it is huge. In this giant box, there are some flat lay backgrounds and they're from Replica Surfaces. I'm pretty sure I bought these online yesterday at like 5 a.m. because Sometimes I'll literally wake up in the middle of the night and purchase some random things. I've definitely done that more than once and it's a very bad habit. Hopefully it's not becoming a habit because it's gonna cost me. I know I do have some subscribers that are interested in photography and I would highly recommend looking into these surfaces because they're so easy to use. I've watched so many videos. I've definitely done my research, so I haven't tested them out myself, but it looks so easy to use and you can just wipe them off. If it's food photography, if you spilled anything, they're easily wipeable. This is the color Slate. It is the darkest one I got and it kind of has like a texture on it you can see this is the all white one and it is in the color pearl i had to darken it to show you this one but this is the color cement 
and I was actually the most excited about this. I just really like the texture of cement. And then this one has that wooden texture and it's called Beechwood. These boards came with L stands so I could have one sitting here and one standing up. Now Ryan and I are gonna go get dinner at Crab King. It literally makes my mouth water every time I see a photo from there. I'm thinking it's low carb, you know, that's right. It's low carb, right? Butter's low carb, right? I don't think so. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. The platter, you can get 10 shrimp with three crab clusters. I really like shrimp that much. I feel like I'd rather get more crab. But if that's our only option, I guess we can get shrimp. I got this comment and I wanted to show you guys that you can wear this hat in the car. Um, it's not very comfortable because you can't really like rest your head on the headrest, but you can do it. Brian told me it's hot outside, so wear a hat, but I don't think it goes with my outfit, but we'll just act like it does. We decided to come home and eat our dinner because it was kind of just like hot out there and like the food was hot and I hate eating hot food in hot weather, you know? Like you can never eat soup, especially in hot weather. I feel like I was also getting bitten. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like mosquitoes are attacking me this summer, especially around my ankles, it sucks, but we're gonna eat and I think we're gonna do a little movie night. Good morning y'all, it is Saturday and today I woke up with new hair. I literally forgot that I dyed it and then I looked in the mirror, I was like, what? <laughs> but I just um, curled it a little bit, like touched it up and it looks super good. I'm really sad because I was actually supposed to go on a hike. Mia, Sarah, and I were supposed to go this morning at like 8 a.m. Then Mia texted us and I actually got woken up by like torrential downpour it was storming so bad this morning and she was like oh yeah i don't think we'll be able to hike anymore so i was really sad about that because we were also supposed to go to a farmer's market that was happening downtown but it cleared up <laughs> i feel like here in austin rain doesn't stay for too long especially like in the summer which is nice because i would have been so sad if today was really rainy but we are gonna go to a coffee shop in east austin and I'm just happy to be getting outside of the house. This morning I worked on my photography website and like updated a lot of the galleries with my new photos. So that's really exciting. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, but I'm about to head out the door. Sarah's picking me up and we're gonna go. I'm here with Sarah and we just parked. We're gonna head into the coffee shop place. We're meeting Mia here. And what, what's it called? Um, Dear Diary Coffee House. It looks cute. Yeah, I like the they have like the Very evil eye and yeah, cute branding. here oh, we're sitting outside of deer diary so cute oh my god this is just when a vibe inside, right here they were like asking me like um they were asking me what i wanted and i was like so flustered i was like oh i'll have a vanilla latte and they were yeah. like what kind of milk and i was like oh like skim milk and they were like yeah. oh, we only do plant-based milks and i brought oh. every plant i was like i i uh, <laughs> give me the like, <laughs> like, i had me no idea what i was talking about <laughs> i was like okay oh it sounds that sounds right for me did you order food no, I didn't. Oh, you <laughs> no, you're fine. That looks I mean, good, though. All the way over here no, my vegan tacos and kolaches. Enjoy them. Enjoy them. I will. They're fucking good. I would. I would get them, but obviously, you know, tacos and uh, kolache yeah. is very uh. Carb yeah. <laughs> but I got a hibiscus tea without sweetener, which is a big step for me because I love my sweet stuff, but it is kind of like a sour kind of drink, so he it's pretty good. It. It's two thirty-five, and I'm eating two-day-old chipotle i'm not going to show you because it's disgusting the way it looks but it's gonna be good a lot of people seem to be intrigued by the low carb diet i'm doing so i thought i would just share my snack that i'm eating right now um i'm having some raspberry chocolate bark that i made and i made the chocolate bark part out of these chocolate chips they're called chalk zero they're um, baking chocolate chips and I literally just melted them put the chocolate in a Tupperware and then and then I placed the raspberries in it and it's a low-carb snack and it's sweet and it literally satisfies my cravings it's so good so that could be just a super fast um, snack idea like you can make it ahead of time and um, just eat it whenever you're feeling something sweet. But I feel like this whole vlog and a lot of my vlogs are just me going out and eating and I'm literally going to 
go to Griselda's at five to meet my friend Maggie. Um, I think we're getting drinks. I'm wondering if they're gonna have a low carb drink there. I might have to like look at the menu um, ahead of time, but, but this is my life. Just looking forward to going out to eat on weekends. I wanted to show you guys my outfit really quick because I am dead. Like this is so cute. And um, if you guys, I'm not sure if I'm even putting up the misguided haul that I filmed because I'm just not vibing with it, but I might put it up because I definitely want you guys to have all the links for the clothes I bought. I'm honestly kind of just in a rut with my YouTube channel, which sucks because I, now I have the time to post and like edit and film and all that. It just happens at the weirdest times. But anyways, um, the shoes that I'm wearing are from Misguided and I have to show you guys them. This is the outfit. I feel like a tall supermodel because I'm wearing heels for like the first time in forever um these heels well wedges i guess are from misguided they have like the clear straps and they're literally just like that jute um wedge on the side and then these pants are from zara i love them to death and then this top is actually from amazon and i'll definitely be linking it down below sorry my dishwasher is like super loud back there um but i just cleaned up my whole apartment it was a pigsty with like all my packages and like boxes everywhere so i cleaned that up really quick it just makes me so happy to come home to a clean house so this is my outfit for the night i'll leave my links down below for this whole fit I'm waiting in my car for Maggie because she actually is giving me another flower bouquet or a floral arrangement. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, I'm so excited. Um, she gave me one. I think I vlogged about it the last time I got it and it was honestly like so beautiful. Um, and she just had extra flowers from her photo shoot that she did. So she's, oh my God, <laughs> here she is. I'm <laughs> vlogging. I knew I was gonna And I was literally you. talking about Hello. you and this. I'm so excited. Thank you. Hi, I'm Maggie. And we got some margaritas. Yep, I got the, I asked him, you know, is there a low carb drink on here? And he said, nah, girl. Not <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. So I got the Donatella Skinny Rita. It was the closest thing. I'm not really sure of the nutrition facts. Yep, cheers. But, and yeah, it's just um, a skinny margarita. we're enjoying our marks. It's Saturday. Yeah. We're gonna cheat on Saturdays. Of course. I just got home with my beautiful flowers. This time we got a little more pink in the mix. So cute. And like I said the last time, she puts them in these beautiful milk faces. They just look so bougie. And I'm so excited to have more florals in my home. So I convinced Ryan to get out of the house and take a photo of me somewhere downtown or like in East Austin where I just was. I just really like my outfit and I want to get like a good Instagram in it and we're not really doing much tonight so I thought might as well get out while it's still sunny. We are in East Austin and I feel like this is like my go-to place to come take photos because they have this really cool white brick wall here. I think I'm gonna go in the front of this hotel. It's called the East Austin Hotel so let's go. I'm actually coming here tomorrow for brunch at 6th and Waller which is a part of like the hotel. Should I use this person? Can you tell me? Or should I use a big one? We took my pictures pretty fast. Ryan gives me a limit these days. <laughs> Today's limit was like 30 photos. So I think I'm getting better. And like, honestly, let's, let's have a real talk. I turned off the car for a little bit. So I just brought the door open for some air. I feel like I've always been wanting to like lose weight and just you know, obviously look my best. Like, who doesn't want to look their best? I feel like a big reason why I want to look my best is because I obviously, like, post photos on my Instagram a lot, and I'm always on camera for the vlogs and stuff. Then when I go back to edit the videos and edit the photos, it sucks when you just don't like majority of the photos, if that makes sense. And I feel like when I was my heaviest, I was like, okay, I think I need to change something because obviously I'm not liking the way I look in these photos and like something needs to change. It just makes me happy that I'm feeling a lot more confident these days. Like even though it was just like a couple of pounds that I lost, I feel like it made a big difference in my confidence. So now when I do have a limit on my photos that I'm taking, cause obviously it's not like I'm really paying Ryan to take my photos cause it's just like, you know, snapping a few pics of me so I totally understand like I don't want to take advantage of him or anything um like I feel like I'm a lot more happy with the way I look in the photos and I I don't know this is just a random like rant if you guys follow me on Instagram you probably are seeing a lot of like selfies and like a lot of mirror selfies just because I'm feeling like really good in my clothes and like I'm finally liking the way that they fit me and I'm just 
feeling really good in general. So I'm not saying like you have to do this low carb diet, but if you aren't happy with the way you look and you don't like exercising, like I feel like there are ways to, you know, feel better about yourself. And also with this low carb diet, it's not like I'm doing it the unhealthy way. I'm eating pretty healthy so it's also just making me feel a lot better because I'm not really feeling bloated and I'm not overeating so I just wanted to put that out there if you guys needed any motivation to kind of kickstart that health journey um I feel like next week because I'm kind of trying to do the slow carb diet for next week because I'm going to my friend's birthday party on the lake we're doing a boat day and I just want to look really good for it because I've never really been on a boat in Austin I did once but it was for filming purposes and like for my job so it didn't really count I was thinking like after it I kind of want to continue to do low carb but maybe I'll do it like five days out of seven and then so I could eat out on the weekends because I just miss doing that and I really just love going out. Like that's what I look forward to during the week is just going out to eat on the weekends, which is kind of bad because I feel like I think about food a little bit too much and just get so excited about food. I'm currently waiting on Ryan. He's at a food truck right now getting us tacos and the last time I had street tacos, I just like literally ate the meat. Like I squeezed lime on it and literally ate the meat and it was honestly really good <laughs> like I didn't really need the tortilla but I did find these low carb tortillas that I tried once but I feel like it's just like I'd rather just have the meat and eat it straight out of the taco I don't know it's kind of weird got the goods for everyone who's wondering we have started to go to Las Trancas on the east side well I got two barbacoa and two pastor right Good morning y'all, happy Sunday. I'm about to head out the door for brunch with my friends. I'm so excited to see all of them. Um, and it's funny because I just FaceTimed my mom and I showed her my new hair. And I was actually outside walking um, Sophie for a little bit and the light was like hitting it so it literally looked blonde in the sun. She was like, wait, are you blonde? And honestly, like these baby lights kind of like, well, not right now, obviously. It definitely looks dark brown, but in the sun, it's like, whoa, that's crazy. I just wanted to start off the vlog for the day. We're gonna go to Sixth and Waller, and I'm gonna pick up my friend Sydney on the way. All right, I'm here with Sydney. We're about to walk into Sixth and Waller. We're at Sixth and Waller. It's super cute. Here with Allie, Taylor, Sydney, and Maddie. And we're gonna, we just ordered our food. I'm starving. <laughs> I uh, passed on the mimosas even though we're, they were five bucks apparently. They're not cute. I'm actually yeah, they're definitely, <laughs> definitely not low carb, but it's okay. One more week and we'll be good. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yay! It's a little bit later. I actually just changed into my new bra from Set Active that I unboxed like the first day I was vlogging. This is what it looks like. I already had these leggings from Set Active, but I just wanted to buy this top because I was waiting for the one shoulder to come back in stock. And now we are gonna try to fix these chairs up out here. Ryan's sanding them and then we're gonna paint them white. Decided it's probably not the best idea to be painting with white paint in my new set active set, so I changed. Do you paint down or up? With the green. I don't know what that means. Yeah, the, the crack open, all the cracks that way. Okay. It's the green. Ryan's teaching me how to paint. Apparently, I suck. Consistent. No, you don't suck. You just wanted to be consistent, so they will all the same, yeah. Yeah. You do, do consistent like up and down strokes. I'm feeling creative right now and I'm thinking I'm gonna use my replica surfaces to create this cool IGTV video that I have in mind or it might be a reel, I don't know. Just kind of depends on how long the video is, I guess. But I gotta figure out how to get these stands to work. So I think I'm gonna do the white and the cement because I kind of want it to be like kind of bright and airy vibes. I have my camera set up and everything. I'm gonna use my intervalometer, which I'm gonna talk to you guys more about in my how to take my IG pictures at home video. This is my intervalometer. It's basically going to take pictures like every second and it's gonna refocus everything. And then I have my mojito stuff cause I'm just gonna make like a cocktail really quick. And basically I have it set to take 150 photos. So hopefully I can do it all within that time.
We drove over to Target because, what was the reason? We had like a specific reason. You wanted bath towels. Oh yeah, I've been wanting to get bath towels for so long and bath mats. Yeah, that's nice. I wish it was kind of thicker, honestly. Do you like it? The teal one, you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, I like the teal one that you have. It's the same one here. Oh yeah, ooh, yeah. Damn it, I wish they had that in white, do you know? Oh my God, guys, they sell these blankets at Target now. I'm shook. This is very tempting, but I'm wondering if it gets all over my clothes. Let's see. Eh, kind of, but it's like $79. And honestly, I've seen it for way more. Um, but I also wonder what size these are. These are 50 by 70 inches. I'm gonna link them down below um, in case you guys want these. These, I really like that color for fall. Can you imagine that on our white couch for fall? That, I think I need that color, honestly, just for fall. Ryan went on a little shopping spree. <laughs> so we just got home and when we were in Target, Ryan was like, oh, there's throw blankets. And I was like, we should look at them. And then he was like, well, we're not gonna get any. And I was like, yeah, I mean, just look at them. And then I got one. <laughs> and this is like very not on brand for me, I feel like, but fall is coming up and I feel like this is the perfect blanket for fall. I got the knitted one and let's see, this is the brand of it. I got it at Target, obviously I just went to Target um, and I'm super freaking pumped about this. Um, I am kind of worried about like the shedding and stuff cause I'm not sure if it will get on like clothes and stuff but I think it's gonna be so cute, especially just for like fall vibes, kind of just like more for show. Um, I think it was under $100 so it definitely was an investment but I feel like this is something I could keep for like years, hopefully. Like hopefully it doesn't like get stretched out or anything. Um, but I feel like Sophie, Sophie, are you gonna love this blanket? <laughs> you look so weird. She literally looks like she has a Karen haircut. Unbox my blanket. Does this mean fall is starting? Ooh. Okay, it's actually kind of soft. Let's see how big it is compared to me. I am 5'3 and Pretty big. Okay, let's see. Oh, 5'3". What? Yes, I am. It can definitely wrap around me, which is good. It's huge, actually. And I remember seeing these blankets on Etsy for like, like hundreds of dollars this like big. I know that they had smaller versions that were like $50, but I think this was $80 and it's literally huge. And I feel like this would look really good on our bed too. I think I'm gonna put it on the couch for like those fall vibes I've been talking about. I also recently, actually today, <laughs> I bought this um, diffuser for your home. It's like smart home diffuser and it's called Pura. And I bought like a bunch of scents and one of the scents that I got was pumpkin chai. So you can see that I'm in my fall vibes. I got my candle lit and I'm kind of just ready for it to get cold, but here in Texas, it's still 100 degrees. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed another long weekend vlog. Um, it's pretty much full of eating, but you know, that's just something I love to do. Also, I'll make sure to link everything in the description box that I talked about in this video. I know I talked about like random like products. So if you guys are interested in anything, check that out. Also, if you guys have the Like to Know It app, I've been posting a lot on there recently. Um, it's basically like an app where you can see where I got all of the outfits that I'm wearing, jewelry, like some home stuff. So I'm gonna definitely be posting on there more regularly and everything's like linked on there. So if you guys ever have like a question where it's from, it's probably on my like to know it. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.